Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this look right here. So October is not only Halloween, but October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I've been seeing a ton of looks for Halloween and makeup for Halloween. Um, and I understand that it's, I don't know, it's not like makeup is associated with breast cancer, but I haven't really seen anything for breast cancer and that makes me sad. For anybody that doesn't know, I lost my mom in 2013 of breast cancer and she was 46 years old. To be completely honest, I don't think that I am strong enough to talk about that on camera right now. I just, I don't know, I just don't think I'm strong enough to talk about that in length on camera. Maybe, maybe next time or maybe, maybe someday, but not, not right now. But in any case, I wanted to do an all pink makeup look in honor of breast cancer. So I went through my collection and I pulled out as much pink stuff as I could find and this is what I came up with. Um, it's pretty similar to yesterday's look, the black and gold smoky eye that I posted. Um, I pretty much used all the same techniques, but I just used different colors, but I still like it. And it's definitely something out of my comfort zone. I've never done anything like this pink before, but it just, um, it just seemed right. It really did. So I want to dedicate this video and this makeup tutorial to anyone that has ever been affected by breast cancer. Of course, I want to dedicate this video to my mother and just, I just want to let you know that I'm, I'm cheering for, for you guys. Anybody that's been affected by breast cancer, I know the struggle and I'm on the sidelines cheering for you guys and you guys can do it. So yeah, so that's my message. I just want to say stay strong and anybody that has been affected by breast cancer, if you're a survivor or you've lost a loved one to breast cancer or you've watched someone fight with breast cancer, just know that just stay strong and my heart is with you. So without further ado, let's get this makeup tutorial underway. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you do like it. And yeah, I would love to have you part of my little YouTube family. I upload Monday, Thursdays, and Fridays. So, without further ado, let's begin. Hey guys, I hope we're all doing well. To start in priming my eyes, I'm just slapping some concealer on it. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm just blending that in with my finger. For the eyes today, we are going to be using the BH Cosmetics Blush Neutrals Palette. And I'm just going to take that first shade. It's actually one of the blushes. It's like this very light, soft pink. And I'm just using that to set down my eye primer. Next, I'm going to take the Neon Pink. That's one of the eyeshadows. And we're going to use that as our transition shade. So we're going to be super sloppy with this shade. It's going to go all over the crease. Not really precise whatsoever, but oh my god, do I love that color. <laughs> going back into the blushes, or that like dark pink one, the one right in the middle, that's going to be a crease shade. We're going to put that in the outer V of the eye um, and really focus that more in the crease. We're going to be a little bit more precise with that. Now I'm just taking the same concealer that I used and I'm just carving out, I guess like the first or like the inner half of the eyelid. And I'm gonna use that same first shade, like that super light pink, and I'm just gonna dab that on to set down that concealer. Now we're gonna go back into one of the blushes, this awesome like metallic dark pink. And we're gonna put that where we put the concealer, just on like that inner half of the eyelid. Next is the darkest shade, which is also one of the blushes. It's like this dark purple. And we're really gonna take our time here, build that up on the outer V of the eye and blend it into that metallic shade. Blend, 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 blend. <laughs> um, so I'm just taking my time, like I said, building that up, making sure everything's nice and blended. I took the 
neon pink shade which you see right here and I just again went over the whole eye or the whole crease again making sure we don't have any harsh lines nothing like that I took my eyeliner my liquid liner and I'm just doing a straight line across the upper lash line just to help hide our lash band because we are using false eyelashes took a makeup wipe got some nice clean lines and I'm also tight lining here um, that again this all just helps uh, mitigate the appearance of the lash band of course drinking coffee throwing on some mascara this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara awesome awesome drugstore mascara for lashes today we're using the Ardell faux mink lashes these are in the style 811 love these so much And foundations, I'm actually mixing two because I didn't have foundation in my shade. It's the Wet n Wild Photo, Photo Focus Foundation and Maybelline Dewy Foundation. I think it's the Dewy and Smooth Foundation. It's so good. And it really came out to be like the perfect shade. And they mix really well. So I'm, uh, I'm on board. <laughs> Back to concealer by Maybelline Fit Me. Putting that anywhere where you would normally put concealer. Under the eyes, nose, chin all that good stuff forehead and I am blending that out with a re I'm sorry I'm blending it out with a eco tools sponge this time and guys holy guacamole do I love that sponge oh my goodness I love 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 this eco tool sponge it is so soft so soft and squishy and I absolutely recommend it so before I set my face, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid. It's in the color 100. It's their lightest one. And I'm just going to dab it onto my sponge and just blend that into the tops of my cheekbones. Now I'm going to set my face with my Laura Mercier powder. Anywhere I put concealer. So forehead, under the eyes, nose. I do do my smile line because I have trouble creasing there. On my chin, all that good stuff. While that sets, we're going to do brows. I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Taupe. And I am just filling these bad boys in. I really need to get better at brows. They are... They're my weakness. I'm terrible at brows. <laughs> now we're going to dust away that translucent powder. Bronzer, Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends. This is in the color 30 Sunkissed. So cheekbones, perimeter of the face, down the neck. You know the drill. Such a good drugstore bronzer. For blush, it's the L'Oreal True Match. Such a good blush. It's in the color Baby Blossom. It's a cool toned pink blush and it is wonderful. And then highlight, we're gonna go in with one of the new Wet n Wild highlights. This is in the color Blossom Glow. And highlight's going to go all the normal places. Tops of the cheekbones, bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, brow bone, inner corner of the eye, all that good stuff. You know the drill. And then to wrap up the eyes, we're just going to take that darkest color that we used last, which is like that dark purple, and we're just smudging that all along the lower lash line from inner to outer corner. We are almost done. We just have lips. And lips, it's ColourPop. It's the collab with Hello Kitty. So unfortunately, this is not available anymore. This is in the color Date Mate. And I'm so sorry that I was kind of off screen here. I'm terrible at that. But yeah, those are my lips. And that actually wraps up this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And, you know, again, I just want to say that anybody that has been affected by breast cancer, I love you so much. Stay strong. You can do it. And yeah, you have my you have my whole heart. So, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.